गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाय एवरीबॉडी हाउ आर यू टुडे रोबर्टो आई एम फाइन गुड इवनिंग ग्रेट हाउ वाज योर डे रिपीट प्लीज हाउ वाज योर डे Get that so there. How was your day? Uh I I have um I have um mucho trabajo como es. A lot of work? Uh, you had a lot yeah. of work today? Okay. So yes, you had a busy I'm busy. Day. Yeah. Okay. I'm busy. All right, but was it fine at the end? Was it all right? Pero todo bien, Roberto. Was it all uh, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I I fine. I... All right, nice. Let me see, Roberto Sarceño. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Hello. How's everything? Uh, if for, for me, if before uh, one time the uh, conversation in the class. Uh, sorry, Roberto, can you repeat that? Uh, for me, if, uh, this one, for the first one, the class, the yes, that I don't can do the oh. do the class. Okay. Yes, you're new to the to the course. Then you didn't come yesterday. Okay. So welcome. Okay. And have you, you started working in the platform? Have you registered in the platform and started working? Uh, the work in the, in my work? In the platform, in the plataforma. Have you started working there? Uh, yes, I, I, yesterday yeah. I saw the, the class, but, but it's a try to the speak. Uh, the conversation I, I i i saw the conversation yesterday oh okay all right very well roberto okay thank you now let me see load this good evening good evening teacher how's everything fine Okay, how was your day? I I was boring. Oh, it was boring, really. <laughs> okay, so did you have to work today? Yes. I you did. Work. Oh, okay. All right. That's good, lower this. And let me see Martha Elizabeth. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? It was easy. Oh, nice. That's very nice. Okay. Reina Costa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Sorry. How's everything? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Mm, very good. All right, that's nice. I'm glad to hear that you had a good day. Let me see Katia Monterosa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I am. Um... Listen. Do what? Can you repeat it, Katia? Sorry. I am listening right now. To class. Oh, okay. Just listening to the to the class. Oh, that is another way to say like, "How are you? How are you doing?" So it's a uh, yes. It's like asking, "How are you?" Okay. Okay. I am fine. Thank you. All right, great. How was your day? 
It was great. Was good. All right. Nice. Kenya Esperanza. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Um, I had a busy day. It was busy. Okay. All right. That's good, Kenya. Reina Eloisa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Nice. Good. Okay, great. How was your day? Um, good. Okay, fine. I'm glad that you had a good day. And how about Madeline? Good evening, Madeline. Good evening. How's everything? Fine. Everything is fine. Okay, great. How was your day? I have a good day. You had a good one? I nice. Have my day. Oh, okay. Okay, that's very well. And let me see Elena Clemente. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. How Excellent. about you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. And how was your day? Very good. All right, Thank nice. You. Okay, Nelson Garay, good evening. Nelson, good evening. Good evening, teacher, pardon. That's okay, how are you today? Uh, very good. All right, excellent. And how was your day? Mm, I have um, listen, listen to class. Okay, uh, how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día, Nelson? Um, bien, good, 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 muy bien. It was That's good, it. okay, great. It's good. All right, I'm glad to hear that you had a good day. And how about Melvin Alejandro? Hello, teacher. Hi, Melvin, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, excellent. How was your day? I was uh, busy, I have a lot of work. Okay, you had a lot of work today. All right. Yes. Okay, so thank God it's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, Manuel Alejandro. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Great. How was your day? Um, busy, but was an interesting day. Oh, it was interesting? Nice. Okay, very good. Yes. Gabriela Thanks. Orellana, good evening. Gabriela Orellana. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? How are you, Gabriel? Good evening, teacher. Fine, are you? Okay, I'm fine, thanks. And how was your day? How was your day, Gabriela? Uh, your day? My day was better than yesterday because uh, oh. yesterday I was so tired, but now I'm fine. Thanks for, ask, for okay. asking me. Very nice. I'm glad to hear that you had a good day then. And Maria Jose Mora, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And how was your day? 
I have a lot of work. Okay, you had a busy day. Yes. All right. Let's see, Marco Antonio. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Kind of. Um, okay, good. How was your day? Um, it was very busy. You I had to busy. do a lot of work, so. Oh, you must be yeah. tired. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. All right, it's almost time to go to rest. Only the English class and then we go to bed. <laughs> yeah, so let's I hope. See. <laughs> Okay, so let me see, Maritza, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, thank you, and you? Great, I'm pretty well, thanks for asking. How was your day? Well. Okay, nice. All right, so have you started working in the platform, everybody? Have you started working in the platform? Ya empezaron a trabajar en plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. And do you have any? Not yet? Okay, remember to start, please. We have to keep going and keep completing the exercises on the platform. And uh, yeah, I was going to ask you, do you have any questions, any doubts about the exercises? in the platform or any topics you want to review? So far, so good. Yes, teacher. Yes, uh, teacher. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Tell me, Matt. About the topic. Um, yes, no, long answer would be. Okay is 1.12 1.12 okay we can check it and yes let me go to the platform okay so you want to check exercise 1.12 here yeah oh and i have already done it because i did it with the other group so let me raise the answers so we do it together Okay, there we go. So what you have to do here is to answer the questions but using long answers or complete answers. So for example, the first one says, are you from the United States? How can you answer? So it could be yes. Yes, I do. And, but it's a question with the verb be. So we answer with the verb be. Are you from the United States? Yes, I am, I am. I am from the United States. Yes, I am from the United States. Or in case we answer using the negative answer, it would be no, I am not from the United States. Then we have number two. Is your teacher from Canada? What can we answer yes, there? He is. Yes, he is. He is. Yes, he is. Completed this? From Canada. From the Canada. From Canada. He is from Canada. Good. Next one, or, well, if we make it negative, it would be no. No, he's not. He is not from Canada. Okay, next one. Is your English class in the morning? No, my English class is today, tonight, or in the right. night. English class, okay. But there we must answer using the same information in the question. It's just because of the platform. So your answer is correct, but because of the platform we cannot uh, provide that one. So let's try. My English class is not in the morning. 
it's not time. In the morning. It's not in the, in the morning. Okay. And, and then we have, well, in case we said yes, it would be yes, my English class is in the morning, or yes, it is in the morning. And number four, are you and your best friend from, are you and your best friend the same age? Yes, they. Um, are you sure about that day? It's you and your best friend. We are. Yes, we are. No. Okay, no. so we yes, said we yes. We are. We are. Completed, please. My my friend. Oh. Yes, we are. Best friend this time. Yes, mm -hmm. we are the same game age. Same age. Yes, we are the same age. Do we understand that question? Do we do we understand the meaning of the same age? Yes. Okay. All right, so we would say, yes, we are the same age, or in case we want to make it negative, it would be no. What else? We aren't. We aren't. We aren't. The same the age. The same age. Okay, very well. Let me check it to see if we got, oh, it didn't take this one. I do not understand why. Is from Canada, so yeah, it should be it should be fine. In the other one, we tried with she, and it took it. So maybe because of that, but um, I mean, he would be correct, and because we do not know if it's a, a man or a or a girl, right? Because of the teacher, but um, mm -hmm. okay, fine. All right, so use she in this one. When you solve it, please remember about that little detail. It's just because of the platform once again, because he would be fine, but I mean, use she. Okay, any other questions? No more questions? Just um, for you to take it into account. Remember that we use the same information in the question in order to answer. So it's just a matter of changing the, the subjects if necessary. And also, um, well, if we are providing a, an affirmative answer with yes, remember to use the verb in the affirmative form, the sentence in the affirmative form. And if we are providing a negative answer, remember to use the negative form, right? It's not in this case. Okay, no more questions. Teacher, yeah. I have a question. Tell me. And the third one question, mm -hmm. is your English class in the morning? If I want to say it's um, in the night, I have to say, I have to use the preposition at? Um, it is at night, yes. Yes, so we say in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening, but for night we use at, at night. There is a reason or just... It's just, just a rule. <laughs> it's just a rule, yes. It goes okay. like that. Thank you. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and continue practicing English. And now we're going to talk a little bit about our favorites. Our favorite our favorite color, our, our favorite food, our favorite sport, movie, and book. So let me start by asking Roberto Sarceño, what is your favorite color? For me, my favorite color is the green. Green, okay, good. Now, Roberto, can you ask one of the questions to one of your classmates? You can ask about color, food, sport, movie, or book. Okay, what is your favorite uh, food? But it's a uh, ex and the person uh, who, who the person I came to the ask, ask. Okay, let's select Marta. Marta Elizabeth. Marta. Oh Marta Alicia, what your favorite food? Okay, my favorite food is lasagna. Okay, good. Uh, Marta, continue asking. What is your favorite sport, Maritza? Uh, 
my your uh, sport tennis. Your favorite sport is tennis. Nice. Maritza, continue asking. Um, well, your favorite movie, Elena? Elena Clemente? Yes. Can you repeat, please? What is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is um, um, action. Okay, you like action movies. Elena, mm -hmm. can you ask another person, please? Um, a king. Um, you can ask, let me see, Katia Monterrosa. Okay. Um, what is... What is your favorite books, Katia? Food uh, or books? Books. Books. Book. 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 Uh, is, um, eh, el nombre en busca del sentido. All right. Very interesting. Katia, now you ask Kenya. Okay. Kenya, what's your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie is Unbroken. Okay, nice. Kenya, your question is for Lourdes. Um, Lourdes, what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is play soccer. You like soccer, nice. Okay, now you ask, um, let me see, Madeline. Madeline, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Avenger and Game. Okay. Madeline ask Marco. What is your favorite book, Marco? Well, my favorite book is The Alchemist. You like The Alchemist, nice. Yeah. Okay, now ask Manuel Alejandro, please. Manuel Alejandro, what is your favorite uh, sport? Hello? What is your favorite sport? Um, my favorite sport is basketball. Okay, very good, Manuel. Ask Maria Jose. Okay. And um, Maria Jose, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. All right, nice. nice. Maria Jose, ask Maritza, uh, who's the one who participated? Maritza de, de Villalta or Maritza Padilla? ¿Quién es la que participó ya? Maritza Villalta. Okay, so Maritza Padilla. Okay, Maritza Paria, what is your favorite movie? Maritza Padilla, are you there? No. Okay, so let's ask Nelson, Nelson Garay. Okay. Nelson, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie, movie is um, El Hombre Araña. <laughs> Are you like Spider-Man? Nice. Spider-Man, okay. Okay, now ask, um, let me see, Reina Eloisa. Okay. What is your favorite color, Reina Eloisa? My favorite color is 
Black, okay, nice. All right, Reina, now you ask Roxana. Roxana, what, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is um, fish. Okay. okay. All right, very good. Thanks everybody for participating. And now let's continue with our next activity. So let me tell you about it. Okay, we are going to check the exercises that we were doing yesterday because we didn't have time. Um, well, at the end, we didn't have time to check them yesterday, right? So let's do it now. And we have number one, where is? What is the answer? Remember, we were using possessive my, adjectives. My, my book. My. My. Say, my. Uh, my. my. Exactly. Where is my book? Number two, Reina Acosta. Reina Acosta, can you read it and tell me the answer, please? Here is our teacher. Our teacher. Nice. Number three, Nelson Garay. She goes to school with. She goes to school with her brother. Her brother. Okay, very well. Number four, let me see, Roxana Beatriz. Uh, they, they file, they file. Okay, work. their father works in a car works factory. In a car factory. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Next one, let me see. Kenya Esperanza, number five. Your laptop is very expensive. Very well, your laptop is very expensive. Katia, number six. His favorite hobby is tennis. Thanks. His favorite hobby. Number seven, let me see. Roberto Carlos. My husband and I want to go to Paris. Okay, thank you. My husband and I want to go to Paris. Number eight, Elena Clemente. Okay, how about Maritza de Villalta? Number eight. With what to see its historical moment. Okay, we want to see its historical monuments. Monuments. Number nine, Lourdes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Night. Yes, number nine. Layla likes her dog. Layla likes her dog. Very well. And the last one, Marco. Its name is Bobby. Okay, we say its name is Bobby. Very well. So we got number one, where is my book? Number two, here is our teacher. And then we have she goes to school with her brother. Their father works in a car factory. Your laptop is very expensive. His favorite hobby is tennis. My husband and I want to go to Paris. We want to see its historical monuments. Layla likes her dog and its name is Bobby. That is what we have for exercise number one. Now check exercise two. Let's see, we have number one. Let me see, Maria Jose. That is my sister husband. That is her husband. Exactly, we say that is her husband. Number two, Maria Soledad. 
This shirt belongs to me. This is this is my shirt. My shirt. Okay, number three, let me see. Melvin Alejandro. Okay, number three. That is Frank's sister. That is her his sister. Yes. Okay, very well. That is his sister. Next one, Maritza Padilla, number four. Maritza Padilla. Okay, let me ask, let's see. Hi, the teacher. Oh, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. This is Marta, Marta Brothers pillow. This is her pillow. Okay, her or his? Because who's the owner of the pillow at the end? Her. His, his. His, we say his because it's Marta's oh. brother's pillow. La almohada del hermano de Marta. Entonces, al final, la almohada es del hermano. Es de, de él. él. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Number five, that is our neighbor's plant. That is? What do we say? They. It's their plant. Their. Their plant. Their plant. Because the plant belongs to the neighbors. Tiene que ser their porque estamos hablando de la planta de los vecinos. Okay. So that's why. Number six. This house does not belong to us. This isn't. Our house. Our. Our. Our, our house. Number seven, let me see, Roxana Beatriz. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. You live on the street. This is my street. Mm, again, you live on the street. This is? My, my street. Um, whose street True. is it? Yes. Can we say? Yes. You live on the street. You. You live on the street. This is? Your. Your street. Your street, we say. Okay. And there we have. You live on the street. This is your street. Number okay. eight. Marta Elizabeth. Okay. David and his brother live on that street. That is their street. That is their street. Nice. Number nine, let me see. Melvin Alejandro. Uh, this comb belongs to my aunt Selma. This is her comb. This is her comb. Okay, very well. Do you understand the meaning of come? Please. No. No, okay, come is feigny. Feigny, that is the meaning of come. Then we have number 10. Those glasses belong to my brother's friend's aunt's daughter. Those are? Yes. His. Okay, and here we can say both, her or his, because at the end they belong to the to the friends, right? And we do not know if that friend is a, a girl or a boy, so it would be her or his. Okay, so that is what we have for exercise number two. 
And I remember we didn't finish exercise three, right? We're going to solve it together now. So let's see. Here, help me with the answers. We got two students didn't do. There. 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 Their mathematics homework. Next one. I have a car. It's color. It's, it's, it's color. color. It's, it's color is black. Oops, turn off your microphones, please. Thank you. Okay. And then we have number three. We have a dog. Its name is Pancho. Its name is Pancho. It's nice. Yes, its name is Pancho. Number four, Nancy is from England. Her husband, her husband yeah. is yeah. from Australia. Yeah. Okay, number five, Anne and Nadia go to a high school. There. There. Little brother. Their little brother goes to primary school. Number six, Ellen has a van. It's. Um, Ellen it's, has a van. It's, I'm sure it's, 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 we say hits. His van is very old. Number seven, we go to a high school. Oh. Our high school is oh. fantastic. Oh. Oh. Number eight, I like singing. My, 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 my brother, my, my mother. Yes, we say my mother sings with me. And the next one, Francois and Elaine are French. Their family. Oh. Their family. Uh. Yeah. are from France. Okay, their family are from France. And the last one, Mary likes her grandma. Her. 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 her grandmother. She often visits here. Very well. That is what we have for exercise three. Now let's continue by watching a video from the platform and we're going to practice the conversation. So let's see. Okay, so let's listen to the conversation and then we'll get a chance to practice it. Love Mexico. It's really. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the pre intermediate course. This is section. Please call me Beth. This lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. <clears throat> Welcome to this class. We learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to, and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. Oh, good, son he is here. Who's son he? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? 
Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G A R Z A. Call me Beth. Okay, so that is the conversation. Let's practice it. Do we have any volunteers to read it? Me, teacher, Maritza, the answer. Okay, Maritza and David. Um, and who's going to read with Maritza? Me, teacher, Roxana. Roxana, okay, good. Maritza, you can start. Thanks. Hello, I am David Garza. I am a new crew member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Betty. Hi, my name is, perdón, disculpe. Okay, okay, where are you from, fish? Bet Bra Brazil, how are you? Oh, I love you in Mexico. Is really no. No, I, I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So is Brazil. Oh, my God. So he is here. What is to have? She's my classmate. Where, where in this, where in this, my class? Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again, Garcia? Uh, what is it? It is Garza. How do you spell that? Spell A R C I. Okay, very well. Thanks for reading. Do I have another pair of volunteers? Me, teacher. Reina Acosta and? Me, teacher. Reina and Ramirez. Reina and Luisa. Okay, very good. Yeah. Go ahead. Hello, I am Davey Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Pete. Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Um, Brazil, how, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love you, Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. Oh, good, soon he is here. Who's Sunki? She's my classmate. Where is where in the name of class? Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How did you feel that? G R A G A R C A. Okay, very well. Thanks for reading. And um, do we have any other pair of volunteers? Me, teacher. Elena Clemente and. Yes. Who's reading Roberto. with Elena? Roberto. Okay. Roberto. All right, go okay. ahead, Roberto. Hello, I am David Garza. I am a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I am from Mexico. Oh. I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So it's Brazil. Oh, well, so, so he is here. 
Please, who is he? She's my classmate were in the same maths class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. That, what's your last name? Again, Garcia? Actually, it's Gaza. How do you spell that? N G A R C A. Okay, thank you for reading. And let me see, do we have any other volunteers to read? Anybody else who wants to read? Me, teacher. Marta Elizabeth and? Me, teacher. Manuel Alejandro, okay, go ahead. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Mexico. I love Mexico, it's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. Oh, good, so he is here. Who's so he? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's your from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-C-A. -A. Okay, thanks for reading. Very good. Now let's repeat. I'm. 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 Club. 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 Member. 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 Club member. Club member. Beth. 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 Brazil. Brazil. Brazil, 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 Mexico, Mexico, really, really beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, 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 thanks. Who's Who's? 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 She's. 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 Classmate. 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 We're. 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 Same. 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 Math. 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 Okay. Now be careful with that one. It is not mat. It's math. Math. Repeat, please. Math. Math. Okay. Worse. 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 Let's. 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 Let me see. Last name. Last name. Actually. 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 And the spelling goes like G A R Z A. Repeat, please. Okay, and remember this letter is Z. 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 And this one is R. 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 Okay, so oh. we have Garza, G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Repeat, please. G-A-R-Z-A. -A. A. Okay, very well. Now let's continue by watching the, the video about the statements with the verb be. Let me see if I can get it. 
Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Okay, so now we're going to review the verb be, which I'm pretty sure you have studied. Let's just remember about it. And then we're going to do some practice. Mm. She's a new club member. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it, our, their. Today, we will go over the possessive adjectives. Let's listen and look at the chart. Statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Contractions of B. I'm equals I am. Your equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. We're equals we are. There equals they are. Possessive adjectives. My. Your. His. Her. It. Our. There. I want you to pay attention to the possessives. In English, each person has its own possessive. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. Oh. Just give me a sec. Okay, so that is what we have for the statements with the verb be. Remember we see? Remember, we have three different forms for the verb be in the simple present. The first one is am, then we have are and is. And also, let me remind you that we use the different forms of the verb be for the corresponding pronouns. So we always have I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, and they are. Now let's repeat. I am. I am. You are. You, you are. are. You are. He is. He is. She is. She is. She is. It is. It is. It is. We are. We, we are. are. They are. They, they are. are. They Okay, also each of the forms of the verb be has a contracted form. As you can see, we have I'm for I am, your for you are, his for he is, she's for she is, it's for it is, we're for we are, and there for they are. Now let's practice them. Repeat please. I'm. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm. 
I am. I, I am. am. Your. You are. You are. You are. His. 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 He is. He is. She is. She is. She is. She is. It's. It is. It is. It is. We're. We're. We are. We are. We're. We are. We are. We're. We are. We are. We are. Okay. There. They are. They are. They are. They are. Okay, so you see how we reduce the verb B and we delete or we eliminate the first letter, then we replace it with, a, with an apostrophe, right? And we get the contractions. I'm your, his, she's, it's, we're, in there. Then we have the possessive adjectives that we reviewed yesterday. Let's just practice pronunciation. Repeat, my. 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 Your, 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 his, 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 hair, hair, it's, 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 our, our, our there, there, okay, in the last couple of minutes, let's practice by solving an exercise. Here, we have to write our, either the subject pronouns or the possessive adjectives. For example, in number one, what should we write? My name is Nell. Nice. 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 Possessive adjective. My. Yes, you say my name is Neil. And I am, I, am I, am a I am a teacher. Number two. My, my, sister. my sister. My sister. That is my sister. What is? Your. Your. Okay, your so. Name. Yes, here we do not say my sister. It should be another one. What can we say? That is, that is her. 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 Okay, here we could say that is her sister. That would be a possible answer. So let's say that is her sister. What is? My name. Um, her name. Her name. Her name. So, okay, in any case, here we need her because we're talking about the sister. And here we could use a hair. We could be, it could be also that is his sister. What is her name? Or that is your sister. What is her name? So we have many options for this one. So, um, no, it's a man. Is, uh, is your uh... Monica, no, uh, what is her name? But in two, that is his sister, the, the name. The, oh, the name. if you, okay, if you relate to Neil, yes, you can say that is his sister. But as we do not really have a, a clear a clue about it, we can say any of those. It could be that is her sister, that is your sister, or that is his 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 sister. Um, uh, okay. So yes, that could be uh, an option. Then number three are Monica and Paula, and we are Italian. What's the corresponding word? We are. We are. We are. Yes, we, are. we say we are. we are Monica and Paula, and we are Italian. Next one, what is? Her, her. her job, she is a her teacher. Job. Number five. I, I am from I am, I am I from, am from England. Are you from England too? 
six. What is Bill's job? He's, he's, he's a waiter. He is a waiter. Number seven, we are from Rome. Our, our, our. our house is very big. And number eight, what is? Your name. Your, your, your name. Okay. Your. We can say your. And here we would my, say. My name is Veronica. My name is Veronica. Or another option could be, what is her name? Her name is Veronica. So any of those. Okay. Number nine, I have a dog and. It's. It's, it's, name. its name is Toby. I have a dog and its name is Toby. And the last one, my mother is 48 and... Her. She, she, sure? she is a nurse. She. Yes. Here we use she. She is a nurse. Okay, very well. Do we have any questions about the exercise or about anything related to the class? No questions? Okay, so that will be all for today's class. Thanks everybody for participating. Have a good night and take care. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everyone.